James Jones. And, and James, how did you feel about tonight's performance? Um, I thought we started the game, started the game well, played well first half. Um, we were the dominant team, and then I didn't think they really had much in possession. It was all in front of us. But we're obviously disappointed with you know the way we started the second half and to concede the goal that we did. But you know it's important that if we don't win the game, we don't lose it. And um, so you know it might prove to be an important point come the end of the season. But you know we are we are disappointed not to come away with the three. Yeah, was there always a feeling in that second half that they were just starting to build into the game, especially when they made those those changes and got a little bit more of the ball? Um, yeah, you know, they, they posed us a few more problems when they made the subs, um, you know, a few more runs in behind and, you know, people coming inside. But, you know, they made, they made they had a bit more of the ball, but they didn't really hurt us with it. You know, they were slightly better, but, you know, a lot of it was in front of us and, you know, part of our game plan to let them have it in certain areas. Um, so we were fairly comfortable throughout and Palms didn't have loads to do really. But, you know, just to concede the, the goal that we did from the set piece, we, you know, that, that's disappointing. But, you know, we we didn't help ourselves at times as well with, you know, a few loose passes here and there, um, which gave them a bit more of a foothold. As you say, it's, it feels a strange result, doesn't it? Because whenever you're winning a game, you always want to go on and, and get the three points and, and not end up with just a point. But pre-match, probably you would you would go to, to Ipswich and go, well, if we come away with a point, that is a, a positive. Uh, yeah, I, th- I, th- I think we go into every game wanting to get three points and thinking that we can get three points. But you know, like, like you say, it's you know, they've got a new manager. They're, they're going to be having a, a go and you know they might get some points off other teams this season. Um but you know, we, we we come into the game wanting to get three points. But like you say, come come the end of the season, we'll reflect on it. it might it might prove to be an important point. And I guess they had that spell, didn't they, after the goal, where they might not have tested the goalkeeper, your goalkeeper in Alex Palmer, but they had a lot of a lot of the ball, especially in and around that that final third, where maybe a couple of weeks ago, where confidence was a bit fragile, it, it could have turned around like it did against Plymouth. But you've come away tonight still with that point on the board. Yeah, definitely. I think you're right. I think we've kind of. After a couple of poor results that we had, um, and you know, poor performances um, by our standards, um, I think even though, like, like I said, we're disappointed, you, you made a good point there. Maybe a couple of weeks previous, we might have we might have gone under, but um, you know, we looked the more likely to to score still, especially at the end, like the last five ten minutes or so. Um, but yeah, we, we need to be better um, second half really um, to stop them getting as much of a foothold. But you know, like I say, it might be might be important come the end of the season. And for yourself, back in the the starting eleven in in recent weeks, you must just be happy to get some football under your belt. Cause it's been a, a frustrating couple of months after COVID. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's frustrating. You know, every footballer wants to be playing games, and um, you know, it's frustrating watching the sidelines sometimes when you know you want to try and make an impact. Um, but you know, I've had to be patient. Like Gaffer said, be patient. Um, um, but I've got my got my chance now, and hopefully I can um, help the team get some important points and going into the uh, home stretch of the season. So you know, it's down to me now to um, do do my best to, to make sure we get some wins and uh, some good performances. And is that what you feel now, especially with George's injury, and we're still awaiting to find out just how long he'll be out for that. The, the 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 not the pressure, but you are you know you and Connor and whoever's filling in that midfield. It is down to you now to fill that void that that George has left. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, I suppose you're right. Um, you know, George has been great for us this season. Um, he's been an ever present, um, and you know we we are going to have to um, step up um, and like I say try and fill fill that void that he you know, that he's, he's done so well this season. Um, but you know. I think that spreads across the whole team. Everyone, um, we've got a good, a good squad. We've got a strong squad. So I think whoever comes in, um, we, we fancy ourselves to to get wins and get points this season. So yeah, of course it would be a miss, but um, you know we've got to step up as a squad and make sure that we we, um, we have some good performances and some pick up some good points.